So for week five, we have finished doing our research and our discussion of the topic of Corranderos. However, we are going to look at locating, evaluating, and writing a thesis statement. And that thesis statement that you will create if you are going to do a writing project will be on the topic of Corranderos. That way we can continue to keep the same trend as we go along. So let's first talk about a thesis statement. You know, what is it? A thesis statement is the controlling central idea in a writing task. It states the writer's main point or purpose. So a topic is, you know, what the author is writing about. And a thesis is what the author is saying about a topic. So when you get letters and emails, you're not going to find a thesis statement for that, primarily because it's very direct and straight to the point of what's going on. Another part is uh, short stories. Not very often in a short story will you find a thesis statement, primarily because when you're reading a short story, you'll find normally just themes, and the theme will be throughout that particular story in itself. But in contrast to that, academic writing, you're going to find a thesis statement. So there are two types of thesis statements. One is an explicit thesis statement, which is directly stated in an essay and is normally found in an introduction paragraph. A second type of thesis statement is an implied thesis statement, which does not have an obvious thesis statement, but it requires the reader to figure it out on their own. An author is going to have a central claim in mind when they're developing their particular writing piece, but they've decided to not let the reader you know, know what that is explicitly, like directing your face. Basically what they're going to do is they're going to let the reader figure it out based off of the content that's within the particular reading passage. Unfortunately for us as readers, it, it's much harder. So what I want you to do is I want you to be able to practice locating explicit thesis statements. So what I've done inside of Blackboard, inside of your lesson, is I have put an article called Teach Your Children the Building Blocks of Finance. So what you have to do is click on the hyperlink, read the article, it's several pages long, it's about four pages long, but only about half a page, and I want you to locate the explicit thesis statement. Once you've located that, also in Blackboard, I have put an answer sheet for week five. You need to be able to write word for word what the thesis statement is explicitly given from the author of this article. So let me give you a few steps of how you might be able to find an explicit thesis statement. One, you need to preview the text. You know, what's the title? Are there images that are related to this particular text? Are there expectations that the writer or claims that they're making? Second, read the introductory and conclusion paragraphs of this article. Is there any assertions or claims that the writer is saying this is going to happen or this is going to be said or this is what we're writing about? Next, read the entire article or essay. You know, you need to keep in mind any claims or details that you found in the introduction and conclusion paragraph that are going to be developed and supported throughout the essay or the article. Step four, go back to the claims found in your introduction and conclusion paragraph. Evaluate whether of them are actually the thesis statement. And last, which is not going to apply for this article, but if there is no stated claim and you're going to find a few different details that are equally important, then that probably means that it is an implied thesis statement and it's not really written in there. But again, that's not going to apply to this particular a reading piece that I've given you, there will be an explicit thesis statement that is noted in there, which you need to log that into your answer sheet for grading purposes. Next, I also want students to be able to evaluate and read implied thesis statements. So let's look at this image together. The image is entitled Earnings and Unemployment Rates by Educational Attainment. And this was distributed by the Bureau of Labor Statistics. So as you can see on the left-hand side, in red, is unemployment rates in 2012 by percentage. On the right-hand side, you can see in green the median or average weekly earnings in 2012, according to dollars. 
and of course straight down the middle are different types of degrees that are attained by people that receive those degrees or certificates itself. And so of course it starts with the highest, a doctoral degree, and then goes all the way down to less than a high school diploma. And so you can see the respective earnings and unemployment rates by each of these types of degrees. Well, there is not a written and explicit thesis statement for this image. However, it does imply and assert a purpose. I mean, there is a purpose for this particular image being there. So what I want you to do, again, on the answer sheet that I've given you inside of Blackboard, I want you to tell me what you feel the implied thesis statement would be for this particular image. What is it saying to you? What is it saying about the topic? All right, so so far as prior to this particular week, we researched the topic of curanderos, and you conducted an extensive topic uh, discussion on the topic in last week's uh, learning module. So as an extension of finding the thesis statement within a reading passage, you're going to write a thesis statement. So a strong thesis statement defines and states the point the writer is making in a writing task. You know, it's the paper's main point. So if I asked you to write a research report about curanderos, I want you to be able to come up with a strong thesis statement. You know, a thesis statement, it's, it's going to be a statement. I mean, exactly what it says. It's not a question. There's no use in giving a question as a thesis statement to your reader because they're coming to you for information. You're not going to them. It needs to address the task of the assignment. So, and we'll get into that in just a moment. It's got to be significant. You know, it needs to have your interpretation of the particular topic. It, it's not like um, going somewhere else and using somebody else's information. A thesis statement is solely your own. And last, do not announce the topic of your essay in a thesis statement. Don't say this. Don't say, in this paper, I will write about. I mean, that's boring. Yes, I know it's slightly your interpretation, but it, it's not a strong way to be able to start out any type of thesis statement, essay, if you were going to write. All I'm wanting you to do is be able to create a thesis statement, because if you can create an explicit thesis statement, you surely can be able to find one within a, a reading passage. So let's think about the following writing tasks. So remember, in the prior slide, you have to have an assigned task in order to help you be able to address and create a thesis statement. So let's say that I gave you this task. How does the practice of curanderismo affect, Oti or excuse me, affect Antonio in Bless Me Ultima? So how does the practice of, you know, curanderismo, how does it affect Antonio? He's our main character. So how, you know, the things that Ultima does in the book, how does it affect Antonio? So students are to write a thesis statement which would address this question and could be used for a two-page writing assignment. Now, I'm not saying you're going to write. That's not what I said. All I'm saying is I want you to be able to write a thesis statement. So remember, it needs to be arguable claim, clearly and specifically addressed, address the question, which I put it right there for you, and it doesn't need to be a question. I don't want a question, okay? So once you've already rough draft and created that thesis statement, let's take a side step for a moment and be able to improve what you've already done. So again, a thesis statement, it's generally written and then revised many times. Nobody usually writes a thesis statement and it sticks forever. It, it takes time to be able to write an effective thesis statement. You know, in your first draft of a thesis statement, it's, it's usually um, a working thesis, which means, you know, it's good enough for now, but it's going to be developed. It's going to be continued to be uh, written upon in order to make it better. Okay? So let's say I ask a couple of questions to help me be able to further and improve my thesis. So let's say I ask, you know, why is curandismo, is it true? Why is it true? What impact will uh, curandismo have on Antonio? And who should care about uh, curandismo and bless me, Ultima? 
You know, who should care about these things? These are things that, you know, once you answer these questions, you should be able to create and improve your thesis statement. Let me give you an example. So let's say I have a topic, um, a voting. So here's a really poor thesis statement. Um, the definition of voting, according to Merriam-Webster's dictionary, is to exercise political franchise. Well, of course, it's got quotations in there because it was pulled directly from the dictionary. Yeah, you know, this created thesis, it's a definition. And it's really not addressing what the instructor is looking for. You know, I don't want a, a definition as a thesis statement. Your whole paper is about a definition? Well, no. You know, your thesis for, like, if you were going to write a research essay about curandi uh, curandismo, which affects Antonio in the book, you know, I want your interpretation of the topic or what you're told to do. You know, what's your point of view? It does matter what your point of view is. So let's see how it could be improved. Voting means having a voice. Well, you know, that's much better. You know, the improvement shows that the writer thought about it. It also shows that the writer kind of gave um, a different kind of meaning for voting, which is okay, but now I, as a reader, am left asking, you know, what does having a voice mean? You know, what does that really mean? So let's say that it's revised and improved again. So here's the best thesis that's been created. Voting is much more than a quiet democratic exercise. It's about having a voice in important issues. Well, that's much better. I mean, much, much better. It not only gives an interpretation of what voting means, it also expands on that and tells me, you know, what does having a voice mean? So it's, it's impressive. You know, if a student were to write from this thesis, they would further explain in their body paragraphs, you know, what does, you know, how does voting exercised? And further, you know, what does it mean to really have a voice? Okay? So, let me give you some practice before you continue to improve your thesis statement. Alright, so I've given you a working thesis statement below about the topic of fame. I want you to revise the thesis statement based on what a thesis statement should be, you know, criteria. You know, a thesis statement, it needs to be arguable. That means it's in your own interpretation. And believe me, nobody ever agrees with, ev with what everybody has to say. But whatever you do say, you normally need to have some type of substantiation or evidence to support it. You just can't, you know, loosey-goosey it and just make the claim and hope that fits. All right? You need to be clearly and specifically phrased. You know, make sure it's a clear idea. Address what you've been asked to do. And remember, don't give a question as a thesis statement. Okay? So here's a thesis statement I want you to make better. It says, the question is, what is fame? Well, you know already this is already violating one of the criteria. So answer these pieces for me. What works about the thesis statement I just said? What is missing or what's unclear about it? And then I want you to take what's already been given, this thesis statement here, I want you to improve it and I want you to make it better. And the last piece, I want you to go back to your first draft thesis statement that you wrote. This was a couple of slides back. And I want you to take this new information that you've learned about how to improve your thesis statement, and I want you to improve it, all right? You need to have a solid and concise thesis statement, which could direct a written assignment. Now remember, I'm not asking you to write an assignment for the question that I gave you. I want you to write just a thesis statement. Remember, your first draft. Then I want you to improve upon it because all of these pieces are connected in locating a thesis statement when you read, remember, an explicit thesis statement. And then you're writing an explicit thesis statement that could be used if you were going to write further. If you have any questions, please email me and I'll be happy to expand.